Hi everyone, I'm joined Hi. by the fantastic photographer Ava Lasada. Thank you for being in the car with me. Thanks for inviting me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've just come out of Heide Ackerman's Autumn 2019 show. Um, and lovely Ava was backstage taking some fantastic pictures, but you got to see the show as well, so we'll talk about that in a hot second. Um, but this was his second um, co ed show, so um, men's and women's walking together. And what worked so well last season was that they kind of walk in a little bit of a group, so it's not, it's not like uh, female male, female male, it's kind of a mixture. Sometimes they come out, came out in pairs last season, and there's a little bit of that this season as well. And the idea of this is that rather than being unisex, you can kind of borrow each other's clothes. So you really get that sense of um, women's wear where they've just kind of chucked on their boyfriend's blazer or they're rummaging through their like dad's cupboard and they're like, oh, actually that tuxedo is quite good. I'm going to wear that with this skirt, um, which I really like. And it's this kind of picking and choosing um, of tailoring, which makes it which kind of makes it feel effortlessly unisex even though he said it specifically said it wasn't unisex um it make it feels it feels non-gendered but still with like feminine and masculine ed edges if that makes any sense whatsoever um some really amazing colors actually ava's got a kind of perfect outfit on for um this because it was lots of black white and red um and really stark graphic prints so lots of houndstooth and jacquard um and checkerboard down the back of um kind of winkle pickery cowboy hybrids um, and real drama. There's a ma there was a fantastic hair styling. So the front, all hair was slicked back, but the front of the hair was exposed. And then about halfway through the crown was gelled all the way back down. So that you're getting this slightly eerie, creepy vibe um, from these characters. And then with a red light glowing from backstage, you're starting to feel um, like there's a real attitude to these characters. And you're like, oh, well, where are these guys going? And um, I think there's this slight rock, rock and roll sensibility as well, which we keep seeing with, um, we keep seeing in Paris actually, there's been a real kind of attitude and rock and roll, particularly at Celine, um, and this skinny leg and slightly pointed shoe was um, prevalent throughout the Hyder show, um, and it's a slight continuation from Spring Summer 19, but um, I really like the duality between the seasons, <coughs> so Spring Summer was so kind of airy and smoky um, and like wistful almost and this was really packing a punch like don't mess with me look at this tailoring do you want to mess with me in this tailoring probably not it was really punchy and amazing there was such wonderful swirls on um, tops in white and black that kind of gave this geometric um, vibe and made and made the models walk feel even more kind of pow 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 um, amazingly cinched waists um, and just the line of everything was so strong it was kind of sharp shoulder sharp waist really tight trouser sharp shoe um, and you just this attitude was kind of infectious but also the precision of the garment was so beautiful and I wonder if that's coming a little bit from Haida's stint at Baluti but um, we certainly saw it last season just amazing amazing cuts and precision and this having such a monochromatic palette with such amazing cuts just really made this kind of power punch collection that you just don't want to fuck with, excuse my language. Um, <laughs> so you were backstage, um, Ava, tell me a little bit about, because I'm sure you get a little bit more of an access to the details and seeing things slightly up close. What did you think backstage? So, um, yeah, I've been shooting backstage at Heidi Ackerman for several seasons now, and it's, I'm super happy that you called me for this one, actually, because <laughs> it's one of my favorites. And I think for Heidi he always take like um, so much um, care of all the details in backstage because there are so many shows that you are just in a room full of clothes with no backgrounds, no lights, and mm. good luck. <laughs> but Heidi always uh, keep the same vibe of the show also in backstage. So um, we have all this panel like uh, with red light, a uh, very strong red light. And yeah, the models were coming like in duos, like a single, like a, yeah, like bits and bits. And yeah, as you said, like colors this season, like for me, my favorite. So it's a red, black, and white. And I think one of the things that I like from Heider is actually the patterns. Mm. And as you say, the cuts in the tailoring, I think it's um, really um, precise and really beautifully made. And you see quality and fabrics and in the um, how it's designed. And I don't know, I really, really like Heider Ackerman. And yeah, the vibe was actually similar to the show. Like, yeah. That's that nice kind of. that they've got that continuity that he's so thorough in everything he does that every aspect, even mm. though even backstage would be so continuous. And I also liked, and I'm sure you back me up on this one, <laughs> that it was so wearable. It feels like uh, we were chatting back um, after the show about how 
wearable and how easy it is to kind of digest these pieces as intimidatingly beautiful as they are mm. it's very um a lot of shows kind of have a few statement pieces and you're at, you kind of feel yourself saying what part of this is going to go into production and how much of this can actually be worn but actually every single item of this was could be worn yeah i would wear everything yeah she's like i'm window <laughs> shopping i'm ready so me um i think as you say it's very intimidating but when you see it it's like quite minimal and I don't know, the cuts and everything is sweet, it's tailoring, so the procession of tailoring just always think it's wearable. Yeah. But then at the same time being tailored is very intimidating and strong, mm. which is what I like. And I think it's more about the shapes in the tailor, like the, the he usually cut the, the, the legs quite short and yeah. like the, the shoulders and um, also the pointing boots. I think his shoes are always super strong. Shoes like are really strong, The mix yeah. of patterns also with them. Uh, animal print and also um, what the graphics he usually use also in the boots. Um, yeah, yeah. I think it was a good. I think he's having a bit of a moment at, at the moment. <laughs> um, I think a lot of people are um, really kind of championing Hyder, and there was such a. I, I know you saw the show as well as being backstage, but for me, the crowds around the seating, everyone was kind of like. Oh my god, it's Hyder! Like I've got to get a picture. Like this is amazing, and and obviously everyone's excited at most shows. But I feel like there's a real aura around mm. the Hyder Ackerman show at the moment that everyone everyone kind of feels that it's really you're witnessing something really beautifully crafted and really mm. amazing. And we miss that nowadays. Yeah, <laughs> we do sometimes miss that nowadays. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, so I, I thoroughly enjoyed this collection and I, I hope you did too. But um, thank you guys very much for watching our live review of Hyder Ackerman. Um, lots more to come. And uh, congratulations, Hyder, if you're watching. We thoroughly liked yeah. it. <laughs> and we'll see you guys very soon. Bye. Thank you.